is officially week 16 of the nfl and boy do we got playoff indications teams will be eliminated and great football content coming your way of course as always hit that like subscribe and share with a friend if you truly enjoy the content of course let's start it off with the thursday night you got the seven and seven saints going against the seven and seven rams Rams are currently in last position in the NFC uh, playoff pitcher. The Saints still trying to get the uh, dominance over the Buccaneers to take that division. One has to go. Give me the Rams at home over the Saints. The uh, Bengals are traveling to the Steelers this week. Uh, this is the first slate of a Saturday game. It's at 430 you have the 8 and 6 Bengals 7 and 7 both hunting for a place in the playoffs here in the AFC. AFC is a tight one this year. I'm going to say that the Bengals will continue to be dominant and take this win in Pittsburgh. You have the Bills going to the Chargers. The Bills are 8 and 6, the Chargers are 5 and 9. This is our 8 o'clock game Saturday evening. Of course, I do believe the Bills are on the right track to continue to be dominant in the AFC uh, and climb that ladder. They're going to have a wild card spot. They will not be one of the first four, so they will be traveling uh, at the end of all this come week 18. Once everything's said and done, but give me Buffalo here to win this one. You have the Seahawks who upset the Eagles on Prime time Monday, who are seven and seven now, working their way back into the wild card playoff picture, going into Nashville to play the Tennessee Titans, who have actually been on a little bit of a downward streak. Um, they still are five and nine. This is one o'clock. Give me Seattle. The Colts, who are eight and six, are playing the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. This one, it could go either way here. The Colts don't need to lose because the Jaguars, Colts, and Texans are all 8-6. and six. One has to win the division out. Give me the Falcons to upset the Colts at home. The Green Bay Packers are traveling to Charlotte, North Carolina, to play the Carolina 2-12 and 12 Panthers. Uh, give me the Packers over the Panthers here. You have the 9 and 5 Browns versus the 8 and 6 Texans. The Texans truly need to win this one to continue to strive towards the top here to be a strong team going into the playoffs to possibly take that number 1 in the AFC South of Jacksonville Falls. But to keep the odds going in our favor, give me the Browns over the Texans. You have the 10 and 4 Detroit Lions traveling to the 7 and 7 Minnesota Vikings for this one. I'm going to say the Lions will come out on top, continue to be dominant in the NFC North this year, and continue to get a home game in the playoffs. You have the 1 o'clock game for the Washington Commanders who are 4 and 10 and the New York Jets who are 5 and 9. Now both of these teams have been eliminated from playoff contention. So of course with that being said, there's always just a good game between these two teams when it's no playoff or in the picture and it's just players playing football. Give me the Jets to win this one. So, with that being said, we get to our eliminated from playoff standings. You have the Cardinals, unfortunately, have been eliminated. The Panthers have been eliminated. The Commanders have been eliminated. The Titans, Patriots, and Jets. Those are your current six teams, three from NFC, three from AFC, who have been knocked out of the picture. And, of course, we will continue to update this board as the weeks go on. I'm looking at probably six more being added this week yet alone. Next up, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are traveling to the Buccaneers in Tampa. Jaguars are 8-6. and six. Like we said, the Bucs are 7-7. Seven and seven. Jaguars have first place. The Bucs have first place. The Jaguars need a win to continue to hold that first place. The Bucs need a win to continue to hold that first place. One team has to lose. One team has to lose here. I'm saying that's the Buccaneers at home. Give me the Jaguars. The 10-4 Cowboys 
go up against the 10 and 4 Miami Dolphins. This is a test for Tua if Tyreek is not available. It is a test for Dak because this defense is extremely good as well. Give me the Dolphins at home over the Cowboys. The Cardinals are going up against the Bears at home. Cardinals have absolutely nothing to lose here. The Bears are still in the picture to get in the playoffs by some miracle. Um, but give me the Bears here to continue on that stride. The Patriots 3-11 have been eliminated. They're going up to the Mile High Stadium of the Denver uh, Broncos, who are 7-7. Seven and seven. They are trying to catch up to the Chiefs, possibly take that first spot. It's very close. It's neck and neck. Give me the Broncos to go 8-7. and seven. Then, our first slate of Monday night games is brought to you by the Las Vegas Raiders, who are 6-8, and eight, going against the Kansas City Chiefs, who are 9-5. and five. Chiefs are continuing to try to mo build momentum. They will officially beat the Raiders for the second time if they do it here. We don't see that happening. We see a lot of downfall coming in Kansas City here. We're taking the upset. Give me the Raiders. The second game of our Monday night slate, Christmas Day. You have the New York Giants going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles have lost three straight games. Cowboys to the Seahawks. And we cannot remember that last one. But either way, going against DeVito and that Red Hot Giants team. Give me the Giants to upset the Eagles on Christmas Day. To end off the week, we have the Ravens who are 11-3 going against the 49ers who are 11-3. First off, great game, possible Super Bowl. Second thing, if the 49ers win, they will be the only team that we know of in NFL history to be every team that has a represented bird as a logo. They've done it all season. The last one's the Ravens. 8.15 Eastern Standard Time. Monday, Ravens, 49ers, 11-3. One will go 12. One will go to 11-4. Give me the 49ers to take this one at home. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our week 16 predictions. Outlook, breakdown. Like I said, hit that like. Share with your friends, your football community, your aunts, your uncles. Let them know Big Patty's Gaming sent you in the right direction with your football predictions. And as always, smash that subscribe to become part of the community. We'll see you on the next one.